everyone, it's Katie, and I am here today to demonstrate the Bow Easy. Hopefully, you are a proud owner of the Bow Easy, and you might be wanting to know exactly how to use it to create beautiful bows. So, I'm going to demonstrate that for you here today. I just want to say really quickly, um, I have seen other bow making tools out there. I like the fact that you have seven different size options on this um, one little card. All the way across is one on each side and then you have a smaller option on each side as well. And so I'm going to show you right here this one. Now it's going to depend on what size ribbon you're using and how big of a bow you want on your card front to um, determine which end you're going to use. And I recommend that you just play around with some scraps of ribbon and just try to get it right. Practice makes perfect, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to show you here. I've got some regular little ribbon. I've cut it to about 12 inches. And I like to start out with flipping a little bit back behind. That gives you a little bit of a tail to work with. And then you're going to wrap it across the front and then back over to the front. So it's wrapped completely around the card one time. Then using your tail, you're going to stick it in this hole and you're going to create a little bit of a loop here. Then you're going to want to put your tail through that loop and just gently, right here you don't want to um, completely pull it tight because you need to put this back through the hole and then you're going to pull it tight and I like to pull up and then off to the side. And you'll see that it creates a nice knot there. And when we pull it off the card, you're going to have two beautiful tails. And if we put this back through the other side, they'll both be on the same. Two beautiful tails that are in the back of the bow. And there you go. You have a perfect, beautiful bow. You can fluff it up a little bit, play with it and then attach it to your card. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean by a smaller one using um, some twine and it's just cut to about 10 inches, not very big, but this will work for um, thinner ribbons also if you want just a small little bow. Now when I'm working with the twine, I'm going to want a little bit longer tail there. So I'm going to stick that around like so. And then it's just the same, bringing it around. It's a little bit harder to hold on to when there's twine because there's not so much to work with. And then I'm going to put it through the hole like before, making the loop. And put it through the loop and back through the hole and pulling it tight. Hopefully with the twine that's a little bit easier for you to see the demonstration. But there I have my bow and then I will slip it off and I have a beautiful little twine bow that you could tie onto something or use glue dots to put it on. All right, one other option is to make a double bow, a double looped bow. I showed you earlier in the video the single loop bow and now we're going to make a double loop bow with some seam binding. And I've cut this seam binding to about 24 inches and we're going to just do the same thing, leaving as long of a tail as you need and you're going to wrap it around one time and then you're going to wrap it again to create your double bows. Okay, so now it's completely wrapped around the card two times and you're going to finish it off just like you did before. Pulling it in, creating the little loop and then putting your tail through the loop and back through the hole 
well. It's not working very well there. <laughs> okay. Up and off to the side. And then we will pull it off the card. It's a little bit tight. And there you go. You have a double bow that you can attach to your card however you want to. Okay, we've got our double bow and we're going to attach it to our card. I like to use glue dots. I'm just going to trim the edges here, cutting it at an angle to keep it from fraying. Maybe you should try cutting it similar on both sides. The seam binding is going to fray a little bit, but I've created a card here. I'll get my card front out and some glue dots. And you can kind of fluff it a little bit, get it to your liking. There you go. You have a double bow on the front of your card.